So in this lesson, we're going to add some more objects into our VR project and get familiar with how to interact with them and just keep practicing and uh, trying new things and becoming more and more familiar with the uh, virtual reality um, commands and components in Unity. So let's cover a few questions we've had. Um, you need to have this say XR origin. Even though it says rig here, it's got to be origin over here. If it says rig here, you're going to have to start again, download the project from the uh, their website, and uh, start over. It just shouldn't take very long to populate your room. But it, you only go so far, and then you won't be able to interact with some of these components. Like when you try to pull this down um, inside here, it won't work if it says rig. So make sure it says um, origin over here. And on my... Um, controllers I have I believe it's continuous um, movement here so on one of these I have continuous and another one I have um, snap so on the continuous one I think the continuous one is the left, I think. Um, that means when I try to teleport, I'm just going to move around the object um, and not really snap to the other one. And when I have the snap one on, um, then I'm going to move, teleport from one object to the other. So, but this, I want to have it this way. The reason I have it this way is because. I want to be able to move around my game. So I have my continuous movement on one controller and um, I have a snap turn on the other one. So let's hit uh, D. Yeah, so this one's snap turn. My right is snap turn, my left is continuous. Okay, so I took our tennis ball, which I think we had last time when I moved it over here, and then I went and got a tennis racket. And let's um, let's set something up yeah, right away. And this is something you should be doing all the time. I'm going to create an empty. Um, and I'm going to move it out from my mats. I want it by itself. And is it still in there? Yeah, it is. Let's see if we can just get it there. Okay. Close these. And I'm going to go ahead and, is this, yeah, I'm going to drag this into my mats. Okay, I'm going to name this um, Tennis. Tennis Objects, whatever you want to call it. Just something where we can store our stuff at, and then I'm going to take my tennis ball and move it in there. I'm going to take my tennis racket and move it in there. And that way we can shut it and keep everything clean. We want our, our uh, hierarchy to look like this, and not with a ton of stuff coming all the way down. Well, let's go to our tennis objects now. And I got the tennis racket, and I believe that was Course Library, um, Prefabs. Objects and sports. So, course library, prefabs, objects, and sports. And I just dragged my tennis racket out there. You could do the ping pong one if you wanted to. Um, whatever you want. So, um, let me click on it. And just like the tennis ball, we're going to go get the XR um, interactable. 
Okay, X, XR grab interactable. And like before, that's going to be so that we can interact with it, it's going to give us a rigid body. So remember, none of these objects have any physics on them. We have to put physics on them. So just like before, we're going to get that rigid body. Um, we're going to change the collision detection to continuous dynamic right there. And then we're going to um, make some changes in our uh, XR Grab Interactable. We're going to um, um, hit smooth position and smooth rotation. So we want to get both of those, smooth position, smooth rotation. And then we can start interacting with that object. So um, now the tennis racket itself, um, I uh, rotated it. I wouldn't mind to stand up. I mean, you could have it laid down. I just sort of practice mine standing up so I can then grab it. But you can fool around. I mean, you can also rotate it here if you want to. Or you can just start typing these in for the rotation until you get it the way you like it. It's usually the easiest way to do it because you can just you sort of drag these even. You can grab this and drag it until you get it the way you want to. Um, and then the next thing I did is I need to, um, I don't want to try to pick it up here. I need to uh, put it empty on the uh, um, handle. So again, I created um, within the, the tennis racket, I created a uh, empty, create empty. I named it handle, it's right here. And I put it on my handle. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's on my handle, does it? Let me move it over some. There it is. And I rotated my, um, uh, first I went into, uh, local and I rotated my handle, uh, negative 90 and then Y15. I want, I want it pointing going up. So again, there's no right or wrong on this. If you start bringing in ping pong paddles and other things, you can fool around with this and get it the way you like it. Um, there is no real right or wrong. So, and let's, I've had some questions about this. So I have the um, package manager. I have the XR interaction toolkit 2.3. Okay, I have the newest one. And I'll this this way for everybody. But I'll let you know that um, when you have that, if we go to Edit, Project Settings, and I look at my XR Interaction Toolkit, there it is. So unlike the previous um, packages, we didn't have this. So I'm clicking it here and meaning that it's not in here. Yeah, we don't see it here. Before you always dragged it in and then you disabled it over here. Well, not not in this 2.3. You're, you're enabling it or, or disabling it within your project settings. So remember that, um, especially if you're going to build for your headset. So um, I have mine. I had it checked. So if I go in my game. And... Um, Start to look around, and let's get our left controller, and let's move over a little bit. It should be turning white, right? And G is grab. And that didn't grab, did it? Maybe because that's continuous. Let's try with the right one. Okay. 
Now I've got it. So there it is. I'm holding it straight up and down. I sort of like that. Let's try it again so you can see a little bit better. Um, let's sort of zoom out. Let's get our right controller. I haven't hit play, have I? <laughs> that would help, wouldn't it? So let's, let's get this left one out of the way a little bit. Let's try the left one. Let's see if maybe this is just continuous. Seems to be moving when I get on it. No, well, I got it. There it is. So I've got it up there. And if I hit it again, it's going to fall down. There it is on the floor. So we could try to come down here and pick it up here. And there it is there. And you can see I'm holding it sort of the way I like it. Um, so that was okay. Anyway, I'm going to try it with my headset. Um, a little bit later, um, I've got my Oculus Quest 2 headset set up. Um, everything's really good. Um, I think I showed you that new package I got, the Oculus package. I'll put it up in the... Uh, uh, I added it to my um, packages. Yeah, I got the new Oculus um, plugin. I added it to my assets. I think I added it to my assets. So I'll put that up there. I got it from the asset store, and it really worked well. So um, it fixed a lot of problems I had. So um, I'll put that link up there so you can uh, see if you want to get it. But the oculus uh, download fixed a lot of things for me and i can you know i can play my game now I, so when i build now for the oculus um i go to uh android so i'm clicking on android and um, when i go to play i don't know why i don't see this now but i should see the uh, oculus I had the Oculus option inside here to choose from my default device. Um, oh, let's try something. So remember, if I'm going to build for my um, Oculus, I need to come here, Edit, Project Settings, and I need to go here, and I need to uncheck this. Extra Interaction Toolkit. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to build. It's going to build, and it's going to look for the mouse. So if I go to my build settings now, now I don't know why I don't see the Oculus in here, but it should, it was in there before, but it still runs, I've, I've played it. So built for Android, and it plays right in my headset as soon as I'm done. So uh, build and run. Anyway, um, get this done. We're going to add a few more lessons this week. Um, put some sockets up and everything. Um, and if you have a problem, remember I put a actual project up for you to download. That's actually working with all of the controls working too. You can uh, download that, open it, and then just start to build. Um, the, um, 
the controllers will move back and forth the controllers will work etc you just have to start dragging ob objects in there remember always save a new scene as soon as you open up my scene save a new scene anytime you do something if you download something make sure you save a new scene anyway uh, get started on it. let me know if you have any questions